All right, folks, let's talk about a very cool knife that came from a friend of mine's daughter. So my buddy Chris out in Texas has a daughter, Caroline, and she's, uh, I believe, a sophomore in high school that asked if she could send in her favorite knife. Not her only knife, her favorite knife. So I have another friend who also has a daughter. <clears throat> I mean, I've got a couple of friends. Well, I've got more than a couple of friends. And more than a couple of them have daughters. But a couple of my friend's daughters are also into knives. And it's it's been fun for me <clears throat> when the daughters send knives in. I had a father-daughter PM2 build <clears throat> that was very cool to check out. And the daughter was super excited to send it in to me because she watched the channel. And Caroline watches the channel also. And she is your average high school teenage girl, I guess, living in Texas. She's on the wrestling team. She's in FFA, Future Farmers of America. Super into horses. So is Chris, her dad. And it's just, I don't know. It's a kick for me when a, not just a, 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 a woman sends in a knife, but when a, a kid, a teenager, a nine or 10 year old sends in their favorite knife, I just think that's cool. When I was nine and 10, as a boy, I don't even think I was carrying a knife back then. Granted, that was a long ass time ago and the world is a different place now, but... Let's talk about this Brown Knives LHC-X. This is number 213. What's cool about Brown Knives, <clears throat> if you go to their website, and I'll put a link down below, they list all of their old models and the number. Like, you know, this is 213. You can scroll around and you can see... LHX model 310, and you can get the specs on that and the price and all that. I think that's cool. VC Edge does that with their interfaces. You can go to their website and you can scroll through their knives and it lists the number, you know, number 27. And this was the specs and a picture of it and all that. I think that's a cool way to do it. This knife reminds me of the VC Edge interface and we'll compare the two in in just a minute i'll show them kind of side by side and and maybe you'll understand why i see that so this is a awesome stonewashed cpm 154 with a full flat grind no markings on the blade i love 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 that what i really love about this <clears throat> is the, what do they call it? The carbon plate purple dust scales. I think it's awesome. It's just enough purple that it can still be manly man can carry, but also enough purple where the high school kid, girls are into it, which I think is fun. I think it's cool. Titanium pocket clip, titanium backspacer over here. Again, no branding on this side of the blade either. I love the grind. of. I just love this blade shape and the grind. I think they did a fantastic job. Everything about this knife is super cool. If I had one complaint because, well... I'm not the channel that says everything is the greatest knife in the world and everybody needs to go buy it. These are all sold out. They've moved on to other models. Um, <clears throat> these were not, ex not inexpensive, but I don't think they were overpriced either. This was 850 bucks. And I can easily say that because, well, they listed on the website still based on what you paid for the knife that you bought. So my one little tiny tiny gripe is the jimping on the flipper tab could be a little more aggressive 
you can slip off fairly easily. Now, the way I do my flipper tabs, I kind of start out here and I just hit it. And it fires open for me almost every time, except for these couple of times because I'm a little camera shy there. But for me, it doesn't really have a problem, but I could see if you were the type that kind of loaded up <clears throat> and then went. The detents is a little light also, so I would like a little bit firmer detent and slightly more jimping on the flipper tab. Other than that, I love it. I, I absolutely understand why it's Caroline's favorite knife. Although I don't know what else she has in her personal collection. I know dad's collection. I'm pretty much envious of everything he sends in. And I've got several more of his to film still. And he just sent me pricing yesterday because there's three or four knives in the group that he sent me that he's ready to sell. So there may be some deals for some people. One already sold just in the unboxing. Um, because during the unboxing... And I'll put a link to that particular unboxing at the end of the video. So you go check it out um, because there are a few more for sale. Um, that Chris didn't know he was going to sell at the time of the unboxing. So here it is next to the VC Edge interface. Similar overall shape and not design necessarily, but similar overall Um the blades are not identical, nor are the handles, but they're very similar to me. The interface is slightly bigger, and we'll get into the specs on the <laughs> brown knife in just a second. Man, I've kind of rambled through this one. Um, but when I first picked this one up out of the box during the unboxing, it just did make me think of the interface. Very similar to me anyway. Let me know what you think down below. All right, let's get into specs real quick now that we've rambled for seven and a half minutes. Uh, four and three eighths closed, seven and five eighths overall, 3.34 inch blade, 3.08 cutting edge. Very thin, 0 0.016 behind the edge. And that's in part because of the full flat grind all the way from the very top, it starts and goes down, which is awesome. Blade steel, as I mentioned before, is CPM 154. The blade thickness is 0.148, which, because you're starting with a thin stock, helps get to a very thin edge. Overall thickness is 0.489, so it does fit well in the hand and great in the pocket, especially going to work well for smaller pocketed jeans for ladies. I don't know why they make them so small, but they also usually have very short pockets. This one, I'm assuming, fits in the jeans that she wears or the pants that she wears. It weighs in at 3.1 ounces, so it's super lightweight. Not quite as lightweight as the interface, but you're not going to find anything as lightweight as 1.5 ounces. Um, especially not in a full-size 3.6-inch blade. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll bet I'll bet money you can't find something lighter than that. If you can, please reach out to me. And it runs on bearings, okay? Bla um, brown knives, spaced it there as I was looking at my notes, are made, manufactured, assembled, designed, all of that in Blaine, Washington, right here in the United States, Again, I think that's why you're going to pay a little bit more for their knives than you would something made overseas, mass-produced. Overall, I think this is a fantastic knife. And if Carolyn ever gets bored with it, she can reach out and maybe I'll just take it off her hands for her because I love this knife. All right, go check out the unboxing of the rest of Chris's knives here. If there's something that you might be interested in, let me know because several of them are now for sale. And I will talk about those in all of the 
the full videos of those particular knives, but just wanted to get it out there early in case somebody was interested in something. The RJ Martin is not for sale. If it was for sale, it wouldn't be for sale because I would just buy it. You'll see as you do the see the unboxing. Carolyn, thank you so much for sending this in. It's been an absolute pleasure to check this one out. Have a great day, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.